ReZero. Starting life in another world. The prophecy of the throne. Hello guys, this is Bunny Rabbit Place, and as you guys remember, we were in deep trouble last time. Time to go, I suppose. Keep this between us, okay? But this is about Amelia's background. It came up during the discussion earlier, so I know you're aware that she's a half-elf. Of course. Though, her being a half-elf isn't the only issue. What with her silver hair and purple eyes. I know. You're talking about the Witch of Envy, right? Subaru! You shouldn't say that name out loud so carelessly. No one will react well to hearing it. Not to mention we're in the royal capital. Neither of us want such big wigs to send any threatening glares our way, do we? Right. Sorry. Anyway, Amelia can't avoid the suspicion placed on her once everyone knows she's involved in the royal selection. She'll be known throughout the kingdom, so there are sure to be people who will react to her candidacy. Like the witch cult? Hmm. Meaning... Oh, I see. I think I'm starting to understand what's on your mind, Subaru. You care deeply for Miss Amelia, so you want to protect her. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> Sakura speaks in a relaxed and carefree tone, but she's dead on with my intentions. But that's exactly what I want her to think. Yeah. I don't want to say it's a good thing, but with the royal selection having been delayed, it'll buy me some time. Or at least it should have. I'm sorry if you guys heard that. <laughs> we still ended up defeating those bandits. They're such an infamous group. If I'm being honest, that put a wrench in my plans. I heard about that. The Dusk Bandits, right? Their treachery is pretty well known around here. She won't be able to avoid public scrutiny after that. That may just end up ruining her in the end. Yup. The Witch Cult. They already know. That's what's up, guys. We're trying to save her. The second time around. <laughs> That's right. It's only a matter of time before Amelia runs into them. So, before that happens, I've been looking for some allies I can rely on. And the other royal candidates have caught my attention. And that's why you've been looking into Sakura and me. No, I suppose Mel is the one you're after. Nah, that's awfully sly of you. Once again, I'm sorry. Why'd you make it sound so underhanded? So, how do we seem according to your awful, yet clever sensibilities? I'd say you guys pass with flying colors. Melty's a nice girl, Tika's a good friend, and your chest is rather big. What the heck, Subaru? <laughs> My, you're a forward one. Since when did we become such good friends? Did I not realize we fought back to back on a battlefield or something? It happened in a different world line. Uh, well, I I'm only joking. With that, I face the two of them and bow my head. I know it's brazen of me to ask, but like I said, Amelia's in a bit of a pickle. So if something ever happens... You want us to help you? Yes. Yeah. And I'm sorry for snooping on you guys. If you want me to apologize by licking or eating your shoes or something, I'll do whatever. <sighs> Can't say I'd like that. What do you think, Sakura? Hmm, I think we can lend him a hand. I can tell how determined he is based on our conversation just now. Besides, what do you think Melty would say if we told her? Yes, please. Knowing her, she wouldn't hesitate to help out. Our princess is just that sympathetic, after all. Then? I can't say anything definitive right now. But I'll relay your request to Mel. And depending on her response, well, she'll probably react just as you imagine. Great! Thanks, buddy! I owe you one! 
<laughs> that is cute. I think you owe more than that. You're a pretty smooth talker. <laughs> he is your good friend, you know. That laugh was awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tiga looks exasperated by all this, but something good did come out of it. I may have seemed suspicious because I returned by death, but I managed to cover it up well. Now I just need to talk to Reinhardt. Huh? Where is he? I look around, but his strikingly red hair is nowhere to be seen. What's wrong, Subaru? Are you looking for something? Oh, hey, Mili. Um, how's the get-together going for you? It's alright. Crochet has been kind to me. And Melty is such a nice girl. I see. So you're getting to know the other candidates, huh? That's good to hear. Now that I think about it, have you seen Reinhardt anywhere? I want to talk to him about something. Reinhardt? I saw him leaving earlier. Oh no. Let's go look for him. He was talking to the captain of the Knights of the Royal Guard, so maybe something came up? What? Are you serious? Damn, I should have been paying more attention. Can I catch up to him? Hold on, Reinhardt! Oh, Subaru, wait! <sighs> he never listens. You already know. <laughs> Miss Amelia, I just saw Subaru run off in a hurry. Yes, he said he needed to talk to Reinhard, so he just took off. Sir Reinhard, you say? But if that's the case... Yes, I was thinking the same. What's going on? He won't, won't catch, catch up. up. Oh. Oblivious to Amelia and Ram, I run around the castle as fast as my legs let me. Reinhard! Reinhard! No boy, that's it. You in the back, <laughs> you eating his dust. I desperately run until a guard captures me, having thought I looked suspicious. Reinhardt! No, just give up, dude, for today. The next day. That's why I think it's best for you to not go back yet, Melee. You say that, but you know I must. You must not. That's what you must do. <laughs> we need to inform Roswell about the meeting as well. Are there no phones or letters or something? Hang on. We can just send him a letter for that. We still don't really know what's going on in the royal capital, right? There we go. Besides, if you return, they'll probably start hounding you again about Roswell not being here. That's... Hmm. If you really insist, I could return to the mansion instead of sending a letter. Uh, no, you can't. Your gate still needs to heal, right? It may not be a painless experience, but you can't just run away from it. Ugh, right. I have that treatment for my gate. So then, I can't leave, and neither can you, in case anything comes up that needs your attention. Plus, Rem is your attendant, so we can't have her going back by herself. <sighs> you certainly have thought this through, haven't you? Good grief. He has all the time in the world. What shall we do, Miss Amelia? I hate to say it, but Subaru's right. Let's put a letter at once. Could you send it in my stead? Yes, Miss Amelia. I will also be sure to mention the update from yesterday's meeting, as well as describe everything Subaru has done since we left. You don't have to be that thorough. Ram will just scoff at the image of me fumbling around. <laughs> Man, I can already feel her sneering at me from here. Hmm? Subaru, do you have synesthesia with sister? How unfair! <laughs> ah, sorry, Ram. I didn't mean to make you feel jealous. Though I do wish I had your ability right about now. If I did, I'd be more at ease getting a sense of what's going on at the village and manor. Hmm. 
but Ram seems to be upset over this, puffing her cheeks and glaring at me. I thought you'd sour your face by pouting, but you still look so cute. These other worlds sure know how to cater to the fantasies. Why? <laughs> While trying to calm Ram down, I'm at least relieved that I'm able to stop Amelia from heading back to the mansion. I've got about a 50-50 chance of success this time around. I don't want to leave Amelia's side and have to restart from square one again. Either way, I'm glad I could convince her. But even if we stay in the royal capital, what do we do in the meantime? Oh, right. I guess we should look into the fake candidate? Maybe they could, like, become friendly. You know how they say, keep your enemies close? But, like, they're not really enemies. You know what I mean, right? The imposter. Since the royal selection was postponed because of them, then it'll officially resume once we expose who they are. We can at least do that much. Not to mention... I'm the most suspect right now? Mm. Uh, that's... Yeah... I mean, y'all did see what happened the last few episodes, so, you know? <laughs> oh, sorry. I wasn't trying to bring you down. I'm just saying that I'm aware of it, too. I'm the most suspicious candidate by far, so I need to take this more seriously. Whoa, you're so confident, Melee. Such a cute, shining, radiant, beautiful woman. Yes, yes. Now... About finding the imposter. How are we supposed to go about that? Do you have any ideas, Subaru? Hmm, let's see. It's nothing crazy, but I think we should talk to the other candidates. Talking to the other candidates? Fake might slip up while talking to us. And even if they don't, we'll get some kind of info out of them. That's what I was trying to say, yes. For example, gaining allies you can rely on is another way of weeding out the imposter. <coughs> but what if one of your allies is the imposter? How, like, you know? How do you know they're not, like, some evil genius? The more people you trust, the more we can cross off the potential list of being an imposter, right? That would mean the last one on the list is our fake candidate. That's amazing, Subaru! Have you been hiding your genius from me? Nice burn. That's a pretty low bar to be a genius, but it's an honor that I'll gladly accept. <laughs> As expected of Subaru, Rem admires his deep insights and superior knowledge from the bottom of Rem's heart. Oh no, Rem. Really, I don't deserve such serious praise. In any case... So there you have it. Let's go with this plan of exposing the fake while Melee makes new friends with the other candidates. Make some new friends, and you'll secure a good future for yourself. All right. I'll do my best. You do your best too, Subaru. Yeah. Wait. Do my best? For what? That should be pretty obvious, no? Rem? Please take care of Subaru. Yes, he will be in good hands. Okay, Subaru, it's time. Do they mean the gate? Wait, wait, wait. Time for what? I'm supposed <laughs> to support Mili with her hundred friends project. For your pain and suffering. It's time for your appointment with Master Felix. Healing your body takes higher priority after all. I knew it. <laughs> so you didn't forget. <laughs> Hold on. Melee! Do your best with the treatment. I shall see you both later. <laughs> ah! Wait! Don't leave me! <sighs> I feel awful. <laughs> he just gave up. He's not even screaming anymore. <sighs> Stop exaggerating so much. You're being pretty rude, Mew now. Harry does all this for Mew, but Mew don't give me anything in return. You 
say that. But isn't healing magic supposed to be more gentle and soothing? What are you doing that churns my stomach inside out? Well, if you're referring to normal healing tactics, then sure. But it takes a lot more to heal your body as it is, Subawu. <coughs> In your case, I'm scrubbing away the mud around your gate meow. That means I have to adapt to the method of healing your condition. Anyway, we're done for today. We'll be doing the same thing tomorrow, too. We just finished here, and I'm already getting depressed thinking about that. Anyway, your attitude sure hasn't changed, huh? <laughs> Fairy's attitude? Ah, are you referring to yesterday? Yeah, when we talked about that fake candidate. I'm surprised that you aren't at least a little suspicious of us. In reality, Amelia and Couchet's alliance was solidified before our meeting. Before the revelation of a sixth candidate. If news of an uh, imposter were to spread, the candidates would naturally suspect one another. Their knights wouldn't be spared suspicious either. That's why I thought Ferris, who puts Crochet on a pedestal high above the rest, would receive us negatively. Miss Crochet would get mad if I ever did something so petty, Meow. Besides, a promise is a promise, right? So, you're saying you abide by Crochet's strong sense of duty? Well, there's that too. But I'm considering Miss Amelia's hand in all of this as well. I don't have any good reason to suspect her, Meow. <laughs> Does that mean you trust her? I lean forward at the unexpected comment, and Ferris continues speaking in a casual tone while scratching a cheek. Well, wouldn't it be pretty weird otherwise? Even if Miss Amelia were the imposter, what would her motives be? Her motives? I mean, I guess she'd walk right into the royal selection and try to become ruler. Exactly. But if that's the ultimate goal, then why put on such a front? Her being a half-elf puts her at a pretty big disadvantage. Ugh. Ferris says it like it's so obvious, but it's only just now hitting me. It shouldn't have taken me this long to realize something so crucial. Am I really that blind? This is beyond stupid of me. <laughs> but now that Ferris has mentioned it, that's right. I hate to admit it, but as a half-elf, Amelia has the worst handicap of the royal selection. Why would anyone want to fake their way to the throne like that? So you don't suspect Amelia by process of elimination, is that it? That's not all. Miss Amelia is really bad at lying. She's not a very good actress. I'm sorry if you guys heard that. Jeez. Sorry about the notifications, guys. I can't deny that. I don't like hearing it from Ferris, but I'm relieved someone else noticed. Even though we support different candidates, I'm glad Ferris doesn't suspect Amelia. It's a huge weight off my shoulders, regardless of Ferris' reasons. That's a relief. It's good to know we have one less enemy in the royal capital. How rude! Miss Crochet would never falter when making a promise like that. Mew had no reason to worry. Yeah, sorry. But then, how do you take this? What are you planning on doing from here on out? Are Mew trying to steal some intel from us? I mean, I'll tell Mew because we have nothing to hide. But we need to restart the royal selection. We want the royal selection to resume in earnest as well. But to do that, we need to expose the imposter. I guess you could say that we're looking into it in a variety of ways. I suppose everyone would be doing the same. All right, got it. So we're pretty much on the same page. Then let's keep this friendship thing going and continue our little exchanges. Only if you're willing to spill your beans too. True, true. Uh... 
Why are y'all forcing your smiles? <laughs> What? You sounded like you were in pain at first, but I heard laughter at the end. Are you getting along well with Master Felix now? Uh, we're not so much getting along as we are good at probing each other. After receiving my treatment, Remedi head into town. Our objective is to weed out the fake as well as meet up with Amelia. I know Puck is with her, but we can't have her wander around alone for too long. That reminds me of when we first met. I doubt something like that will happen again, but we should still meet up with her as soon as possible. Do you know where she was going, Rem? As I understood it, she was to visit each of the royal candidates, but I do not know in what order. However, she did not visit Miss Cruchet, so she must be visiting one of the other four candidates. The other candidates, huh? All of them have pretty interesting personalities. Priscilla is the most abrasive, but felt can be pretty difficult to manage too. Then you have Anastasia, the cunning merchant. On the other hand, Malti's complacency? Soothes my heart. She just makes me want to cuddle her. Ugh, now's not the time to get distracted. Besides, of those four, we only know where two of them live. Priscilla's got her own estate, and we know Melty stays at her church, but where are the other two? Miss Anastasia has a branch office in the royal capital. As for Miss Felt, I would assume she is residing in the Estrella family's house? Ah, Reinhardt's place. I guess that's only natural. I doubt she'd rebuild the demolished loot house. In that case, should we check in with Felt first? We didn't get to talk to Reinhardt yesterday. <sighs> uh, Rem? Is something wrong? You've got a weird look on your face. Yeah, Reinhardt would be a good choice. I would have said the same thing. No, it's just that... Meeting with Miss Feltz. Sir Reinhardt makes me anxious. Why? Anxious? Oh, because he's so famous? <laughs> I never pegged you as one of his fangirls. No, that's not it. Rem belongs to Subaru, so that has nothing to do with it. Girl. Okay. <laughs> I met Sir Reinhardt once before, some time ago. He made a very strong impression back then. Huh. I didn't expect you to know him from before. What kind of vibe did he let off? Probably tried to end her. Flames. Oh my goodness. <laughs> huh? Flames. Taking the shape of a person. What the heck? Ah. I get it. You do? I feel bad for Rem, but our first destination is Felt's place. If we're going to put a pin in the Witch's Cult's plans, we'll need a pretty strong ally on our side. And I realized this while talking to Ferris, but Amelia and Felt are in similar positions. Nobody thinks either of them are capable of winning the royal selection. This means they have less of an incentive to falsely claim themselves to be royal candidates. That's what makes Felt more trustworthy than the rest. Besides, if I hadn't interfered, she would have been killed by that assassin Elza. It's a big risk plan... <laughs> it's a big risk planting an imposter into the royal selection. It's not something that has an immediate benefit, let alone after only a month or two. Since Fault was in the slums up till a month ago, the suspicion on her should be lifted. To think her living in the slums would be a deciding factor in my deductions. Just goes to show that you never know what'll happen to you. What are you muttering to yourself about? You're weirding me out here. 
about? Uh, sorry, sorry. Either way, it's thanks to you I get to escape from that cramped room. I can't just stay cooped up in there when I've got company. I'm glad to see you're doing well, but why are you stuck in your room? Tsuru, do you not realize who you're talking to? I have to study for the royal selection. I did say I'd participate after all. It's not like I can just half-ass it. I mean, I get it, but that Reinhardt doesn't understand moderation because he's inhuman, unlike the rest of us. What? I don't know if I'd put it that way. Where is he, by the way? Is he not coming? Huh? Reinhardt's not in the royal capital right now. I think he said he had some sort of secret mission or something. Then he left just like that. What? Th then when is he coming back? And what do you mean, secret mission? Who gave him those orders? <coughs> Ugh, don't get so close, I can feel you breathing on me. Look, Ew. I don't know anything. It's not like I heard it all myself, so I don't know who told him about it. Give her some space, Sewer. Once the royal selection starts, Reinhardt will be serving me as an attendant. That's probably why they sent him away right now. Damn it! Talk about bad timing! No, the person who gave those orders is to blame. I just lost the ace up my sleeve. I wasn't prepared for or expecting anything like this in the slightest. <sighs> Guess there's no point moping around about it. Will you let me know when he returns? We're staying at an inn in the royal capital. I don't mind, but did you and that maid of yours need to discuss something urgent with him? An alliance? Uh, I apologize for not introducing myself earlier. I am Rem, a servant of Margrave Mathers' household. Rem also belongs to Subaru. Uh, the heck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Whatever it means, that's what felt. Hang on! Don't make it sound so weird. I'm devoted to Melee after all. You should already know how hard I've been working on that front. See, girl, that's that's that right there. <laughs> hey, whatever you do in your free time is none of my business. Just try not to get stabbed when it all blows over. Please be at ease. If something ever happens to Subaru, I will follow after him. Be at ease for what? That sounds so ominous coming from such a cute face and voice. <laughs> I would like to apologize again for the trouble Miss Felt. But has Miss Amelia stopped by here recently? I'm totally being ignored. That elf girl? Nope, haven't seen her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't tell me she's walking around town all by herself. Yep, that's exactly what is happening. Just so you know, when I stole that dragon insignia before, she was pretty distracted and left a lot of openings for me to snatch it. Is it really a good idea to leave her alone like that? Her insignia? What? What the heck? Ah, <laughs> uh, we got it, we got it. Thanks for the intel. Please continue treating Melee well. And please help her on her path to become the next ruler. You idiot, that's what I'm trying to do too. Jeez, you really are something else. <laughs> Still, we have the same goal. Oh, and just so you're aware, I don't think you're the fake candidate. Well, there's no point in faking my way to the top when I barely stand a chance, is there? So you thought of that too. Since I got dragged into this, I have to take it seriously. I see. You're right. Anyway, I don't really suspect you or that girl of yours either. Okay guys, we're gonna have to leave it off right here. We're on good terms with Vault now. Please subscribe. Please leave a like and comment who you think the imposter is for now. Also, please share. If you'd like, 97, I mean, not even 97, guys, 99 point something 98% uh, percent of my watchers are not subscribed. So if you guys would please like to support me, hit that subscribe button and please watch. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.